pizza, it's what always brought our family together. It wasn't until I was older that I realized that every time we would come home as a family, my parents, you know, my dad would pick us up and we'd meet my mom at our favorite pizzeria in Dayton, Ohio, which was Marion's Pizza. That was the first meal that we bonded over. And even as kids, the way that my parents brought us together is they would order pizza and we'd come in after catching lightning bugs and eat pizza. We would do pizza Fridays, like with our family, like extended cousins. It's a place called Pizza Pizzazz. My favorite was like, that's where like I was introduced like uh, penne pizza. They cooked the pasta, they cooked the pasta, put it on there. You'd eat the pasta first and then eat the slice. We'd be playing video games, adults would be drinking, like it was a whole Friday experience growing up, yeah. My earliest memories is my grandma would do like her shopping on Saturdays, major department store, and she would be in there for hours and hours. And I knew I, I could be patient and let her do her thing because we were either getting hot dogs from Lulu's or pizza. We would go to this pizza place, just the two of us, and order a cheese and sausage pizza. She was this really holy, you know, religious woman, and I wouldn't see her, like, drink too much. But we would go to this pizza place, and she would have a beer. And so it kind of humanized her for me in a way. I grew up in Africa until I was 11 years old, so I never actually had pizza until I first came to Detroit. And when I did, first Detroit pizza I ever had was Buddy's Pizza. And that was like so special. We'd go there and every, I remember every time going there, it just felt like we were celebrating something. So it was literally every birthday party, every celebration, every time I got like a great, you know, report card, we'd go to Buddy's Pizza and we would have that. But there was a huge Lebanese community in Dearborn, Michigan, where I came to, and there was a lot of Lebanese bakeries. And we would also have Lebanese flatbread. Looks like a pizza, tastes like, you know, it's similar kind of dough, it has a sauce, it has cheese, very similar idea. And now that I'm a mom, I have two little kids that are 11 and 9, and we still do pizza at our house at least like two or three times a month, usually Friday nights when we have movie nights. And what we what we try to do is I make my own dough and we just sit there, it's a pound dough, we just divide it into four, everybody kind of makes their own thing. And we have so much fun with it. Everybody kind of throws it in the oven with different um, toppings. And, you know, I try to get my kids to try different vegetables and put some za'atar on there, put some Lebanese cheese on there, you know, try whatever it is on there and just make them have fun with it. And um, yeah, and it's been just, kind of cool just to see pizza over the years and how I enjoyed it as a kid and you know how I'm enjoying it now as a mom with with little kids. Pizza! <laughs> Cheers guys! Cheers. Cheers! So happy to have you here! Cheers. The I'll pizza party of oh. the decade! <laughs> <laughs> We are at the Feed Feeds lovely downtown Los Angeles studio, and you all are from all over the country. So we're all gathered here today <laughs> to talk about pizza, one of my favorite foods. You're definitely Absolutely your favorite, favorite food. food. It's yeah. a, that's my top food group. It's a whole group. food group. It's, it's part a, of the pyramid. It's a pyramid of just, yeah, it's, and it's a pizza shape. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole pyramid is the pizza. Another thing bringing us all together is social media. That's where the world is these days, and it's a lot of what's driving, you know, our careers and our passion and our talents. So I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Miriam. This is Miriam Weiskind. She is the pizza expert extraordinaire. And my favorite fact about her is that when she was born, she came out of the womb and her dad and the doctor were both eating pizza as no. she was delivered. <laughs> she runs at the Zaw Report on social media, just covering all things pizza. So what is it that you do, Miriam? Everything. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, yeah, what we do you do? I do it. Uh, a few years after I moved to New York, I got a, a part-time job being a tour guide for Scott's Pizza Tours. Take 16 strangers from all around the world around in New York City and teach them a complete history and evolution and the science behind pizza. And then, you know, with the pandemic and with social media, um, I, I left a career of being a creative director for 16 years to pursue pizza professionally and wound up baking 5,000 pizzas out of my apartment to help New Yorkers in need. Did a couple restaurant takeovers and now I'm in the process of opening a pizzeria. So speaking of New York, we've got resident New Yorker in the house, Jeremy Jacobowitz, at Jeremy Jacobowitz. Yes everywhere, literally every app, every social media app that Ever. you didn't know existed. <laughs> You'll find Jeremy Jacobowitz on there posting restaurant food crawl videos. I assume you're pretty hard and fast on New York style pizza being the best. 
oh yeah, but I did kind of think like, okay, listen, uh, the New York butter slice has sort of been perfected. I'm not gonna make that better here today. So I'm like, let's take more inspiration from New York and my own background, and let's put like a nice little Jewish spin on it. And if like pizza is like number one here, like number two would be like an everything bagel with cream cheese and lox. Pro. What we're doing is we're par baking your pizza so yep. we get that bagel effect. We brushed the olive oil on and we docked it. And now we're just going to go ahead and get the actual crust baked so then we can then smear your cream cheese mm. on. Yes. How hot is the oven right now? Right now it's probably about 700 to 800 degrees. We just turned the heat down, but we had it pumping. Okay. So we're gonna wait, it's getting a little bit harder. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna go in at an angle and I'm very carefully going to pull toward me, and I'm rotating. Okay. And the Away reason, from the yeah. So the reason we're rotating it 180 degrees is to get an even bake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so I'm looking at the coloring on the left, uh -huh. and right now I want to go ahead and have you turn it, rotate it toward mm -hmm. me. Beautiful. Okay. You want to do a quick booty shot? You're gonna take your mean? peel, uh -huh. slide it under there gently and lift up the bottom. Just the peak under there? Yeah, it's, look at that booty. Right. Okay, right. I'm gonna set it down. It's just that easy. Yeah. All right, let's pull it out. Cool, all right. So you're gonna pull it on out and you're gonna set it on the rack right here. Yep. Oh, man. Look at that. Boom, okay, so now you're gonna work your magic mm -hmm. and you're gonna show us how to turn your pizza. Yeah, we're doing everything. Well, because you we want the everything seasoning to stick, so just gonna brush the edges with just some olive oil. Sprinkle the seasoning on it. I didn't want to do this beforehand because it just felt like when you burn that seasoning, like the burnt garlic and everything, like it just doesn't taste good to sort of finish it with it this way. Good call. All right, so uh, now I guess we're gonna take it inside and finish your build. Let's do it. All right. Your pizza looks amazing so far. Thank you. Not only is it New York pizza, but you're doing even more New York we're things. Getting, we're getting real <laughs> New York here. Well, we're combining New York, you know, yes. Italian, a little Jewish, a little this, a little that. I think like that's what makes New York so special, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I have some concerns. Okay. We have a large red onion uh -huh. in our spread. Okay. I hate raw onions, especially red. Don't worry, it's not, it's not gonna be raw. Uh, we're gonna pickle them, it's very, very easy. We have some vinegar. Pickled I can do, I yeah. do love pickles. I mean, it's yeah. quick pickle, so it's easy. So we have vinegar, salt, sugar, turn that off and pour right in. Okay, we got Be a, careful. Yeah, we got a pickling liquid going over. No, don't put your you hands there when I say be careful. I'm hold it. No, don't hold it. Okay, don't hold it. <laughs> it's boiling liquid. Just go right on top. There you go. There she goes. Okay. Boom. You don't want the cream cheese to melt. You want it to stay together a little bit. You want it to easily want it be to able to be spread it. No, but you want it to hold up a little bit. You okay. Know? So we let it cool a little bit. It'll cool a little bit. And we got a little some whipped cream cheese here. So put it right in the middle. Big old dollop. Bam. That's how you know it's a good bagel shop when they use the a spoon big, to get it out. Yes. It has to be a big spoon. And then yes. we can use the offsets to sort of spread it. And like we want to get it all up in like the nooks and crannies yeah, of everything. Yeah, I can hold you know? it down for you. So we're going to spread the locks on there too. So this pizza has a lot of flavors going on. Mm -hmm. We've got like creaminess. We've got a little like smoky saltiness mm -hmm. with the locks. Sweetness. Little, okay. So then we are doing the charred mm -hmm. yes. scallions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right on top. Amazing. Mm -hmm. A nice mm -hmm. pop of color, too. Yeah, you know, presentation means a little something, something. Yeah, and this you meet with your eyes first. <laughs> and your phone. And your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and this is like a gorgeous pizza. I mean, I feel like it's eye catching. Yeah. You're not even done yet. So I got a little pickled onions here because you don't want the raw ones, right? I do not want the raw ones. I wouldn't yeah. want raw ones on any pizza or food item, but. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. I think pickled onions would go well on most pizzas, though. A nice little pop of acidity, vinegary. I agree. Yes. <laughs> no, uh huh. I agree. I You're agree. Nice and bright pink. It looks beautiful, right? It does look beautiful. Okay, what yeah. else are you hitting? The, hitting Got the a little, little dill. Little dill. Little dill. Do you put dill on your bagels? Yeah, I okay. think it's pretty classic. This mm -hmm. is bagel pizza fusion. Mm hmm. I'm very excited, and this is very true to your mm -hmm. upbringing. Yep. We're gonna do a little squeeze of lemon. Mm hmm. Magnifique. And. What do you think? A little more everything bagel seasoning on top? The, I feel like you can't have it too can't much hurt. everything. No, just a little bit. A little <laughs> just, to, just to finish. There we go. How, no, how's that look? That looks amazing. It's, yeah. it's fresh. It's exciting. It's different. It's unique. And I think, well, I think like the beauty of pizza is like it's such a palette for like who you are. And like this is 
It's basically me. That's you, know? you in a nutshell. Yeah. This is the Jeremy. <laughs> this is, this is the Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to try it. I can't wait. What do you do with the pizza the next day then? If you're gonna put it in the microwave, get the crime scene tape out. Get the chalk, trace the dead body. <laughs> Most people know Detroit for this big guy. Yes, this All big right. boy. This is what they know it for, but you are gonna introduce us to the other half of what pizza is represented in Detroit. You know, as many pizzerias as you'll find in Dearborn, Michigan, right outside of Detroit, you'll also find as many bakeries, if not more, that sell this type of Lebanese quote unquote pizza or flatbread that we call mena ish. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and shred some cheese. I'm using two types of cheese here. Mozzarella because it's iconic, it's sweet, it's perfect on pizza, but we're also gonna use akkewe. I always say when it comes to pizza, don't you agree like, like shred it yourself. Don't buy it pre-shredded, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Open up Alexa. Awesome. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I will. <laughs> Here Thank you go. Yeah. Try right. it out. Let's see how this is. Mmm. It's nice and sweet, but it has a little bit of like salty saltiness That's to so it. Bad. I would say it's that far off from a mozzarella. Very similar to a mozzarella still. I'm actually preparing the tomatoes right now because what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna top the pizza with some tomatoes. But instead of having them just raw, I like to just go ahead and roast them to give them a little bit of color and they just add a little bit of flavor and caramelization. Aren't they beautiful? They're yeah. perfectly ripe. Yeah. Who's garden? <laughs> Who's garden? Seriously. So I'm just using a few different kinds of heirloom tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, and these gorgeous orange tomatoes as well, just to give it some nice color. And we're gonna roast these with some olive oil and salt and pepper. So we've got the beautiful tomatoes right here. I'm gonna go ahead and After salt. she does the za'atar, I just wanna take the tomato and dunk it. Just a little bit of pepper. Oh mm. yeah, absolutely. We're actually gonna pop these in the uni oven at a low temp, just for a few minutes until they get a nice color on them. Okay, here comes the fun part. We're gonna make the za'atar spread. So the za'atar spread is basically this um, za'atar mixture right here. Yes. It's made of toasted sesame seeds, dried oregano, dried thyme, and a little bit of sumac sometimes as well. So to make the mixture, I'm adding some lemon olive oil to the za'atar and then just mixing it all together. We want it to be like kind of runny, like a runny paste like this. Beautiful. Yeah. And so growing up, actually, we would just eat this with pita bread on its own, like just dip the pita in there. This is fate. Yeah, Ooh, say no more. Fate. I'm just going to go ahead and I like to just put it all over the middle. And I like to leave the edges kind of empty. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Ooh, those seeds in there are so oh, nice. It's so full beautiful. Seeds. So we usually make this actually for breakfast. So it's a, it's a nice breakfast recipe. A little brunch we, pizza? Yep. And so we eat it with. Um, the, normally it would just be like this and we would eat it with lebne, which is a yogurt cheese. Oh, yeah. Yes. Lebne is like yeah. gold. I love it so much. But I'm doing this today as more of like a dinner time pizza with the cheese and the tomatoes. And here are these tomatoes that we roasted earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and add those on top. They're Gorgeous. so beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And one thing to keep in mind is like with pizza making, it's like going into the museum. All of our pizzas are a different canvas, different artists. So I think that the way that you design your pizza is an expression of your love for pizza. Absolutely. I like a couple, I like to kind of layer things. Makes it look yeah, so good. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll eat it. It's showering all kinds of cheeses okay. over here. So we're gonna pop this in the uni oven and yeah. can't wait to taste it. I'm so excited. All right, to let's eat do it. this. <laughs> what yeah. ingredient do you think should be banned from pizza? Anchovies. I would say fruit. Like none Any of fruit? it. No pineapple. No strawberries. Ooh. No, no um, watermelon. Oh <laughs> no wow! I can swing you on the pineapple. I have 100% conversion rate. Right. I'm not gonna say that anything should be banned. I can't think of anything. However, I don't want eggs on my pizza, and I don't like mushrooms. Eggs, oh. yeah. Odd. Give me all those things. Jeremy, do you have anything that you don't want on pizza? I would just say, I don't know if there's one particular ingredient, but I was invited in one time to a restaurant. They promised me like rainbow pizza and they showed me like a rainbow caramel cheese bowl. I was like, you know what? I don't even want to know why it's rainbow. I'm out. Our goal is to get it evenly baked. So here is Fabulous. your sword. Let's give this a try. Um, so you let it sit for like 15, 20 seconds on each side, and then you're gonna rotate it. And we also wanna just keep it away from the flame so we can let it bake slow. Nice and evenly. Yeah. The other thing we wanna do is we wanna let it sit on the stone a little bit so that it can, the bottom will bake. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice, beautiful crust. Yes, yeah, so that right side, it's already starting to cook. Let's get that out toward the outside of the oven. Yes. Do we need to let second? that sit? Yeah, we just need or to let it second. sit on the stone so that it can bake the bottom. Perfect. 
And it looks pretty good. I think so too. You think it's done? Yeah. Let me go ahead and move it out. All right. I'm gonna burn your hand. Oh, oh, Papa. Papa. oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, when it's all done, I love to add some fresh herbs. Something like basil works really well here. Also, mint would, would be really good as well, just to kind of complement that Middle Eastern flavor. So I like to just, you know, tear it up and throw it on here. And then I loved your idea of the lemon zest, just to complement that um, lemon olive oil that we use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zest some of that over here. Just like freshens up the pizza, adds a beautiful garnish. All right, our pizza is ready to go. Beautiful. People from around the country tend to talk smack about Chicago pizza, namely date dish. Mm -hmm. Are you here to kind of like? Chicago has the best pizza. Oh. <laughs> Chicago Shots has the best fired. pizza. I mean. <laughs> so you're making a thin crust pizza for us today, a little birdie told me. We put everything on pizza these days, but in my opinion, like sausage is traditionally a Chicago pizza. You go. And right. so caramelizing onions is always a bit of a labor of love. <laughs> it <laughs> you is. do them right. <laughs> you do them right. Chicago is known for their deep dish. That's the most common association or thin crust, tavern style, pub pizza, bar sure. pies. It's mm -hmm. all the same. Yeah. We're going to make it cracker thin. We're going to cut in little squares and it's intended to be enjoyed over a nice drink. A cold yeah. beer? A cold beer cold sounds beer. Really And good. it is plateless. Really good. I think it's almost time to start stretching some dough. Is it dough time? And just do a couple of stretches. You don't want to pull any muscles while stretching pizza dough. Unlike New York style pizza or all the other styles, we want to push the gas out as much as possible and get it as flat. I like to say sometimes you just play the bongos. Here's this, this weapon. It's okay if it's not perfectly round because we're going to roll this out larger than it needs to be. And we'll take our pan and we're going to cut it out to the shape that we need to go into the pan. You want to put a little bit of, of a little, 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 yeah, little body, little yeah, body into it. Yeah, don't be it. afraid to like too okay. quickly flatten my, that. My shape remember. is looking better. Uh, it's almost like a heart shape, which we do in spice. Chicago. Do you want to put oil in this pan and just smear it all to. over? <laughs> I thought you never It's good asked. for the skin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just trim this out. This is a good, I feel like, little trick for getting kind of a perfect round. Oh to yeah. Trace the outside. Mm -hmm. if okay, who wants to wear the dough necklace? Set that in. Oh, 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 oh. The makeup is not cut. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, you look good. Fine. The other cool thing you can do, do you with wear this. That one? Do you want me to wear this one? Yeah. All right. Do you want to put it around my neck? Sure. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like a good. scarf. It's like a scarf. We're gonna take that dough and we're going to pre-bake it. I take a little bit of semolina and a little bit of flour, and this is just gonna help keep our peel nice and coated so that the slides are off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the par bake out and there we she go. She came right out. She's and pretty. That cracker All right, so, thin crust. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and add the toppings. Sure. We know you like a little extra sauce, mm -hmm. so add a little extra sauce, yeah. a little cheese. Okay. And then we're gonna do the sausage, onion, and peppers. Gotcha, a little extra. Get the whole party together. Okay. A little extra sauce. There we mm. go. Beautiful. A little more cheese. A little cheese. You can also never have too much cheese. Facts. All Big right. facts. I could almost kind of eat these raw, but I won't do that. <laughs> no one's gonna judge I mean, you well, technically you do. they're cooked, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I've got my roasted red peppers. It came out beautiful. Beautiful, I'm so glad you did red instead of green. <laughs> and it adds a little sweetness to go with the yes. saltiness of the sausage, so it's perfect, right? Beautiful. All righty, and then we have the crumbled sausage. Yes, and you said you wanted like a sausage with a good fennel flavor in it, I right? like a, a true Italian sausage, which is, that's what we like in Chicago, yeah. Italian sausage. Yeah. We have a huge Italian community. Okay, Big time. there's that, and then I like a little dried oregano. That in don't, true don't forget to crush it a little bit. Open up that herb. And you could also add crushed red pepper flakes. Might as well. Yeah, just a little bit. Bada bing. There we go, Bada and, and, and she's ready. She's ready for the oven. All right, I guess let's go ahead and bake this. Well, ladies, what pizza. Pizza, pizza. Is the smell coming from the oven taking you back to the time you used to spend with your grandma? And working in restaurants, and working absolutely. In restaurants. All the pizza restaurants. Chef, I'm gonna let you make the executive decision if you'd yeah. like to pull it out. It's just all about there. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that good? All right, here we go. 
Oh, Shazing. There we go. Chicago style. Okay, swing let that cool off for a second. Okay, so every Chicago restaurant will have crushed red pepper, the Parmesan cheese, and a little oregano, right? So we're gonna one up that today with fresh Parmesan. Oh, you're gonna make it snow. <laughs> I'm gonna make it snow in California. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Oh. Just it a in. little topper for Deck a little in. extra treat, you know? The and the man didn't even predict that. We'll today. put just a few of these on there as well. A little bit of heat. And there's my Chicago style sausage, onions, and peppers. Absolutely beautiful. Thank I cannot you. wait to cut this up. Me and too. Eat. Yes. Who's ready it's to time. eat some pizza? Phil ready. Okay, <laughs> but before we eat, Phones eat first. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got we to gotta get this. We got to get the shots. We have to. Oh, that cheese on top. Ooh, Isn't that pretty? That looks so good. Thank you. That looks so good. These all came out amazing. It was them. It was them? I'm very proud of you all. I mean, we didn't taste them yet. Yes. I, it, they look good, <laughs> they, but the we got to make sure. Look. We got to make sure first start, you know, congratulating each other. <laughs> so clearly this is cut into squares, which Always. is the traditional tavern yeah, style. Absolutely. And why is that, Miriam? Why the square? Yeah. So the idea is, is that normally you don't need a plate. But uh, the idea is that you're gonna eat a square and sip on a beverage. Mm. Oh. Well, cheers, who's ready to do both of those things? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's cheers. <laughs> that crust came out so, so good. Good. Mm -hmm. good job. And I like the sweetness of the red peppers. If that was served to me at a Chicago restaurant bar, I'd be like, yeah, of course. I would served not be. to me anywhere. That's true. That's the job. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for you, Nuz? I'm so excited for yours. Right, cheers. cheers. Pizza cheers. You don't have a pizza cheers, cheers pun? Huh? Yeah, yeah, cheers. It's so bright. Mm -hmm. So good. The lemon zest on top. This is insanely bright. You know what? I don't even miss the meat when I eat this. I usually have meat on my pizza, but this is so good just like it is. Hey. Two different types of cheese, the way they melted on there. Yay, thank you guys. I'm so glad you liked it. Yes. Jeremy. Mm. Coming out of left field. That is so good. That is, okay, I was skeptical. Mm. I'm being honest right now. I was skeptical. I love that. Your crust is incredible. It is. It has like what I want out of a bagel, where it's like a little crusty, but so little chewy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it like had even like the little bit of New York City flop right at the edge. Mm -hmm. That crust eats like a bagel. Mm -hmm. And the everything bagel seasoning on top, perfection. Good job, mm -hmm. Jeremy. Great job. Woo! I'm not surprised. I knew this would be good. <laughs> they all are very good and yes. so different, just like yep. you guys. We're all winners. <laughs> <laughs>